How's it going guys? It's Cameraman Dave and I'm back with another Ballin' on a Budget video. That's right. And here we are with my daily 2005 Ford Taurus. It's got a bit of a weak chin, but it does have lovely side skirts. It looks relatively even, but I just want to kind of push the lower part of that front fascia, dress it up a bit. For the big part of what we're doing, the ballin' on a budget, you're gonna need a tape measure, a jigsaw, cordless drill's probably better, it's got a lower torque than the uh, plug-in ones, some kind of treble light, I have two here because one's acting as an extension cord, and maybe a crafting knife just to fix little things. I'm gonna have hard plastic sections and come around this part of the lower bumper, just give it a bit more structure, and then I'm going to put kind of a filler in here, and I think you'll recognize the filler, but not necessarily the other stuff. So my first step is to measure how much I'm going to need out of each of those to make that hard section. For my lip material, I'm using this big arse patio party style bucket, and I've transferred my mark. Then I'm going to just cut into it using the jigsaw. My pieces are cut and it's time to start making relief cuts like this. But because we could be dealing with really brittle plastic, I've loaded up my drill with a drill bit and I'm just going to make some relief holes as well. Now, the fun part can start. I can start tacking this on and forming it with a heat gun gonna get ramps. Much better. All right, let's get to it. things I'm doing here is I realized that this is gonna look a little bit sloppy if I don't kind of trim it and just just try to put an opposite to this upward curve on the front here do the opposite down it, it, <sighs> narrows to make it level is the idea wider narrower okay so I have to do that I kind of arbitrarily picked what looked like a straight drop down point from there but I mean Let's be real, this is, this just kind of is what it is. <laughs> That's right, no front lip is complete without garden edging. I have this uh, little piece of false perforated leather that goes in the door panel, and I guess, really, like, not much to say. I'm going to, I'm going to try Shuku on. Guess what happened? Time well spent. Okay, luckily it came off just as easily as it went on. Hot wreck piece of garbage. This is after just driving normally and getting off the ramps. And it did not look the way I thought it did. Good luck comes in threes or something like that. So of course the AC compressor locked up right uh, the day after while I'm driving it around with that hot mess on it. And uh, so I've been driving this only to have loud exhaust, uh, CV shaft that I didn't replace needs replacing now. So, but uh, yeah, that is gonna be on the road again fairly soon and maybe I'll do a good job of putting something on it that looks half decent, even though, you know, it's a Taurus. What do you do with a Taurus? Ah, that's it for me. Cameraman Dave signing out. See you on the next one.
it was obvious to me that to make something that was worth looking at, or a video that's worth posting online, some planning might be necessary. So, I figured out what I was going to do, and then, at the salvage yard I found this lip and a spoiler that suited the style I was going for. The color was wrong, so I decided I would get some spray paint on there, and sanding is necessary to make sure that the paint adheres properly. Next, I cleared the dust and grease off with a little bit of Windex, because I already had Windex on hand and it evaporates pretty quickly. Then, with a couple of coats of paint, about two to three, they were black as the car. And that was perfect. Even though my first attempt was not entirely successful, I think this stands as hard proof that without breaking the bank, you can make your car easier to look at and more comfortable to use. You might even make it something that you're kind of proud of. Although this did start as a joke, and most of these videos are kind of intended to be a little bit humorous, and the joke is always on me, I think that you could probably enjoy doing something like this just for fun, without really losing anything. So what have you got to lose? Next, I was off to Andres to test fit some rims that he found for me on Facebook Marketplace, a set of uh, Focus 18s. I suppose this is also a good time to mention I black housed the headlights and some other features of the car got black in the interim. I just didn't record it. Yeah, your studs are long. You do, huh? Oh no. Andre had revealed to me that there was about an eighth of an inch gap with the spacers that we had on. We are going to have to adjust our plan to fit the rims, and it's not really that big of a deal. But what it is, is a matter for another episode. So stay tuned. get your own car, you can smack it as much as you want. Know.